Hey, it's good to see you working and all. It's my job. No, I know. It's just after everything. It's good to see you're okay. I mean, you seem okay. Are you okay? I'm getting there. A little by little. Um, you know, I lost a lot of people I loved too. Loved a lot. And if you ever want to talk or whatever, because you, you and Sookie are like sisters, and Sookie is my sister, so we're like family. Even though we ain't been that close lately. Thanks. You're a good friend. Yeah. Could be better. I should be there for you. Well, I wish I had you there and not all that shit happened. Yeah, but I wasn't there. I mean, uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there, and and I'm sorry it happened. Uh, Jason, what's with you? You didn't do anything. Uh, Jesus. You know what? Here I shouldn't beat myself up over it. If you need me, I'm gonna be over here. Sweetheart. Hop in. Listen. Listen, I moved what I could. I mean, even at half off, the shit is still expensive. I'm, I'm gonna need some more time. Relax. You'll ruin your new ride. Huh? Pam's been a bit harsh lately. She's under a lot of pressure. I thought it'd be a good time for a small gift to my, uh, top salesman. What's the catch? Well, you'll have to pay the insurance, of course. I'm not an idiot. And I'm gonna have to sell you the car for one dollar to avoid that pesky gift tax. Mind you, it may look a little, uh, out of place, parked outside of that strange plywood hut you live in. Nah, I ain't taking on no more of your shit. You have great value, Lafayette. You're discreet, efficient, and you have a network of loyal customers with enormous disposable income. You can become quite wealthy if you wanted to. I don't need no more money. No? I never thought of you as lacking in ambition, but perhaps you're content with moth-eaten Afghans and second-hand furniture. I'll think about it. Don't make me wait too long. You can owe me the dollar.